Hello and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. So if you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I'm 26 years old. I live in Los Angeles with my boyfriend, Bill. And we are starting off like we do every Saturday with bagels, going to Hank's. I got my usual, which is everything toasted with vegan cream cheese. Um, it's a little later than I normally go, so they did not have Bill's usual rosemary sea salt. Um, so we salt got loop. regular salt with the angry cream cheese, which is the honey habanero. And we are going on an adventure. We're going to Orange County today. Um, we're starting off with going to Costa Mesa and then we're going to go to Newport and then back to Costa Mesa and then go home. So come along with us. everyone we are back home from Newport now we had a really good day um, we basically just walked around Lido Marina Village which is in Newport Beach um, we stopped at Neat Coffee in Costa Mesa first went over to Lido and then we went back to Costa Mesa go to go to Nice Guys um, which is a vegan burger place that we went to last year in like September ish and it was really good and we knew we wanted to go back there so that's where we went for lunch and then we just drove home so it was kind of a far drive but it was a fun day so i think we're just gonna relax i think we're gonna finish the rest of um masters of the universe tonight which we've been watching so we might do that and then also maybe watch mythic quest season two not sure um but i will pick up the vlog again tomorrow good morning happy sunday i kind of forgot that I was vlogging um because it's already about to be noon and I have not filmed anything yet so hello um I don't like to work on the weekends but today is the first of August so that means that it's my one of my busiest days if not my busiest day of the month where I do all of my like invoicing reports and just like organization stuff for my social media clients so I have a good amount of stuff to do today um so i'm gonna actually use my new little notebook that bill bought me yesterday at sugar paper um in newport i love going into that store i think that there's another one somewhere and i'm not remembering where i don't know but i love this store um they have really cute stuff they used to carry these pens these u brands pens that are my favorite but they stopped carrying them a while ago and they actually carry these at Target now, but these are my preferred pen if you were wondering. So I'm going to write out all the stuff that I'm gonna do today um, on here, see how I like it. I also have my normal planner and I have a notebook um, because I wanna brainstorm some ideas. I have like a plan of YouTube videos and other stuff that I wanna make over the next like couple months but I want to brainstorm some TikToks and um just some other like stuff some photo ideas for Instagram so I'm gonna work on all of this today I'm gonna put some croissants in the oven for us to have for breakfast and that's what's going on so happy Sunday I am getting started with my day um it's going to be a pretty chill day not too much working has to get done thankfully because I got basically everything done yesterday um like i mentioned because it was the first of the month i had all of my like reports and invoices and just like organization stuff to do um yesterday so i did all that and i also really like to spend time on sunday getting ready for the week going through um i like have so many lists in so many different places i have like my planner i just got 
that new notepad thing I think I showed that yesterday um and then I have like my thing on my phone so I have like all my different things that I like keep track of so I was going through and just like getting organized um spent some time brainstorming some like videos and TikToks and photos and all that stuff so I was really doing a lot of stuff yesterday mostly one because I wanted to just get it all done on the first and I didn't want to push it till today too because they have been doing construction on our apartment for like two and a half almost three weeks now uh six days a week Monday through Saturday and it has just been so loud almost every single day um they've been like redoing like the flooring in we live on the second floor um and they've been redoing like the flooring on the second floor and they are only halfway done. I'm really confused because this was supposed to be a three week project, but I mean, construction stuff, I feel like it's just always delayed, but it's just been so loud every single day except Sunday and like the hour that they're on their break and then like when they're done. So it's been really hard for me to concentrate at home, especially like I had two writing deadlines um, while they've been working, like two big story deadlines and it has just been so loud and really impossible for me to concentrate. So that was also why I was like, I want to get all this done um, yesterday because it would be quiet. And now today I can go and run errands and like not be at home while they're doing all the construction. I do obviously feel bad for Bill because he doesn't really have a choice because he works from home. Um, and when I say like works from home, he does not have a job like me where I have like he has a full-time job that he has to report to so he has to like be sitting at the computer um all day at home so and he also has like a work desktop computer so he can't even take it and like work anywhere else but anyway um yeah so I'm going to go to the bank to FedEx to drop off my Rent the Runway subscription order. I have another one coming. I think it's coming tomorrow. So maybe I'll include a try on. I normally also film that for TikTok. Um, so we'll do that. And then um, I'm going to go to the gym. I recently started going back to the gym like right before the mask mandate was reinstated in LA. And um, I think it was like within a week later that the CDC reinstated it too. Um, but yeah, that's not been ideal for my skin because I have been dealing with naskne again. Um, because when, uh, you know, everything first started, I really wasn't getting it because I wasn't like wearing my mask and sweating a lot. Obviously, like when we would go to like the grocery store and, you know, wherever, um, I wasn't like wearing it for too prolonged a period of time so I feel like I didn't really have that bad of an experience until like I would if I would wear it when I was outside like taking a walk um then I would like sweat and I would get you know breakouts and I'm dealing with that again um after not because I was like not wearing my mask to be honest when I was like going to fitness classes because I've been vaccinated for a while um so yeah that's not ideal but I really like going to fitness classes and I really like going to the gym so I don't really want to stop um but I'm just trying to be mindful and like wash my mask more frequently um this is the one I have it's from Lululemon I have a couple of these in other colors too um but yeah so that's what I'm dealing with right now but I've got to go. I feel like I'm like very low energy, even though I was drinking Celsius inside before this, um, because I like woke up and immediately just heard the construction and was like, no. So that's what's going on. Going to go get these errands and gym stuff done. It's lunchtime. I just made this little frozen thing from Whole Foods. Um, I think it was called the Pro Provencal. I should know how to pronounce that because I uh, studied abroad in Provence. <laughs> um, but I made that and then I just added in some spinach and I made um, some 
it's like farro and lentil blend that I also got from Whole Foods. So made that and I added some nutritional yeast for some cheesiness. Looks really good. I didn't use any oil or anything. I just cooked it in the, um, what's it called? Always pan. And it had like a, it's like, it has a garlic sauce. I haven't tried it yet. So let's see. Hmm. Good. I feel like this is gonna be kind of mushy, but like, it's okay, we'll make it work. Um, having Ice Four Sigmatic. Um, Bill was on a work call earlier, so I had to be quiet. He can't even hear me, and I'm looking at him. Um, what? I'm trying not to interrupt your. Blog. You can interrupt if I'm referencing you. I don't know. Okay um they've been painting the workers so it's been quiet which has been nice um but i just like showered took a bath washed my hair did all the things um and now i just have to answer some emails and that's really it it is really a low key kind of day because i'm just kind of waiting for like responses or um need to respond so that's what's going on. Gonna eat this and watch some YouTube. Hello guys, I just got some new items from my Rent the Runway monthly subscription. So I'm going to show you the items that I picked out. First item we've got is this dress from Madewell. I really love the material. I wasn't too clear on what it was going to feel like um, based on the description online, but this fits me perfectly. It's like stretchy. It has pockets, buttons down the front, and I just think it's really cute. I also like that the neckline is kind of like squared off and isn't like too revealing or anything. Um, I could probably get away without wearing a bra with this. And yeah, it's really comfortable and cute. So big thumbs up for this one. Next up, we've got this really fun bag from the brand Poolside. It's in pretty good condition. There is like one little snagged part right here um, that like the stitching came up and like it's a little off center. Like I'm just holding it and it's like not totally straight but um yeah it's really cute it's a cute little straw bag and I feel like people are already getting into like fall mode and I'm not there yet <laughs> LA is pretty warm through like October um so even when it's like fall here it really doesn't feel like it so I'm excited to wear this for a little bit and get some use out of it Next up, we've got this sweater from J. Crew. It's this light gray, kind of looks like a light blue almost, but pretty sure it's gray. Um, cardigan, it is a little boxy. I think I could have sized down one size. Um, this was the only size that they had left when I was ordering it. And honestly, I really, this is kind of my problem. I really don't wear jeans ever. Um, so I feel like I have a hard time with wearing tops um because I just I really don't like wearing jeans I wear leggings all the time I wear biker shorts all the time and I really just don't wear jeans so it makes wearing like cute tops kind of hard for me um especially in the fall because I really or actually more so in the summer because not everything obviously goes with like biker shorts or leggings so I kind of struggle with that a little bit um but you know, something I need to work through. Anyway, I think this would be cute with like biker shorts or leggings um, for something casual. I have like a lighter knit uh, cardigan that actually I'm pretty sure it was a pajama item from Madewell that I really like. It's like a light pink color um, and I thought it was really cute. I just wore it like with leggings. I've worn it a couple times. Um, but yeah, this is a little on the thicker side. Um, obviously that's the dress there. So like it is like, you know, a little bit low cut, but like if you were to wear this on its own, but I think it's really cute. Um, would be nice to rent again, maybe in the fall when it's like actually, you know, appropriate to wear because it is like really hot in LA all the time. But 
yeah, I just thought this was a cute little item. Okay, the last item that I got is this top from Madewell. Um, it definitely needs to be steamed, so keep that in mind. But it's this mustard yellow color with these white embroidered flowers. Um, yellow is not really my color, but I got this to wear because I have my first sponsored TikTok campaign coming up, which I'm really excited about. And I thought this would be cute to film it in. Um, because it is a skin a vitamin C skincare product. So, but it's like the campaign got pushed back a little bit. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to hold on to this or if I'll be able to like re-rent it. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, just this really cute top. I would not wear it with the skirt necessarily. I would wear it with like leggings um, or maybe jeans if I, you know, got a pair that I liked. But yeah, I just thought this was cute and like something a little bit different for me because I don't normally wear colors like this. Again, like kind of leaning a little into fall, but I really just got it because I thought it was like cute for taking pictures and videos um, for that campaign. So that's all for this haul. Um, I will have these items and like the sizes linked down below. Um, maybe I also have like a code or something from Rent the Runway for money off your first membership. I honestly don't know. I used somebody else's code and I had a credit on Rent the Runway because I had canceled a dress rental that I was going to do um, for a wedding that I went to. So yeah, that's that. But like I said, I'll link these things down below. I am going to get some work done. Um, I might hang out with my friend tonight, but cause she can't come over for dinner. So I don't know, some stuff going on up in the air. Bill had to go run to the hardware store. He's having like a crisis with his microphone, something or other with his computer. So just lots of stuff going on right now, but I will see you guys later. Hello everyone. I feel like I'm always vlogging in the car, but this is really like maybe not the best week for me to be doing this vlog because there's just not a lot going on to be honest. Um, I really just like don't even have a lot of work going on. So I've been having a lot of downtime, which is nice, but I am actually going to head out and meet my friend um, in Glendale at the Americana. Um, I just ate dinner. So I don't know, she's probably gonna be hungry because she's coming from work. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna stop and get gas first though because we need to get that. I, I'm wearing this t-shirt. Um, it's what we said podcast merch, super cute. I'll link it down below. I don't know if they're, they will still have any available because they just did a restock today. Um, and they came out like last week, I think. Um, anyway. Uh, and I'm wearing a pair of just like cropped Lululemon leggings. It is 92 degrees. It's 6.30 right now. I'm like very hot because I need to turn the car on, but I don't want it to be making noise um, in the video. But I was like, oh, should I bring a, like one of my like light windbreakers in case it gets cold? Because like we're going to be there for a bit probably. And then I looked and it's like, it's 92 degrees. There's a heat wave, uh, a heat warning in effect. So that's great um so yeah i'm gonna head out stopping at gas like i said and go to the americana Hi guys, I'm on a walk right now. Um, it's very hot and sunny and just enjoying my little neighborhood stroll. Hey. Hey. I just took a shower and I wanted to do a quick aloe haul um, because I ordered things yesterday online and their shipping is always really fast if you live in LA um I always a lot of the times I'm like oh I'll just go to the store and get it but I'm like it literally comes in one day so 
I got a new pair of biker shorts. Um, biker shorts are like my favorite thing ever. Uh, I don't have a pair on right now actually, but they're very comfy and I love these from Aloe. Um, these are just like their normal high waist biker shorts and this is in the color blue skies which just came out and yeah super cute i did actually notice though um no oh, these feel okay my this is my fourth pair of ones from aloe my black ones and then i have a pink pair i think the color is pink macaroon those like fit really they're all the same size they're all large and they like the they feel a lot softer and like they don't feel as tight like especially the high-waisted part these feel like that but my ones in ocean teal um that i wore to aloe house which i showed in one of my last videos um those feel like really tight and they're the same size so i don't know what that's about but anyway i just thought this color was really cute so i got those shorts and then i also got a pair of socks um i did get gifted like two different pairs of these uh these are the throwback socks um but i got gifted them in a five to seven and a half and i got this pair and then i got the pair that's like black sock with the white writing but unfortunately i'm a size 10 so socks that are a size five to seven and a half just simply do not fit me so i got a pair um these are the medium large which fit eight to eleven so thought that would be good so just got these, so I'll link these two items below. We actually have to go run, well, we, I am tagging along. Bill has to go run an errand. Um, his, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but his work computer has been acting up. So his job set him up with like a new one, I think. So we're gonna go pick that up now and maybe, maybe we'll be able to stop on the way home and get like a matcha or something for me, cause that would be nice. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. I think Jenny's going to come over, who I was also with last night. She's going to come over for dinner tonight because we always do a weekly dinner and movie night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. I'm trying to be cool like the other vloggers that vlog in Target. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. I'm just sitting here watching Criminal Minds and watering the plants right now. Um, have this pimple patch on this great breakout right now. And I'm going to yoga at 10.30, so at 8.10.30, at 10.30. Um, so I've got time before that happens. And yeah, so we'll get these plants watered. I just finished class. I'm definitely out of breath and very red, sweaty. Um, I did not shower, but I'm just gonna do that when I get home in a bit. But I just like rinsed off my face and body and stuff with a towel. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go head to La La Land, get some avocado toast and a matcha, my favorite thing ever. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go sit there for a bit and then I'm gonna go to see one of my clients. And that's the plan. Here's my new face. I'm using the Goldie Lacuma Bright or Pineapple Bright um, face mask. 
and I honestly forgot that I am getting a facial tomorrow because I otherwise would not have done this but it's kind of a force of habit because I feel like anytime I wash my hair I will do a mask um, because then I don't mind like you know when I'm washing it off in the shower I don't mind like obviously if my hair gets wet so mm -hmm. cute but yeah for the shower now we are going to the movies Mills driving I don't know if you could see that um yes we're going to the movies we usually go to Universal um to the AMC there it's great it's also fun you can walk around city walk beforehand we're going to go through the saga that we've gone through this is gonna be like the third time since uh we started going back to the movies that I have tried to do my usual routine of going to Voodoo Donuts and getting a donut before the movie as my movie treat because there aren't really a lot of candy options and I like candy but like I don't know I don't really want it there's somebody literally watching me do this and there has been such a long line and the first time we didn't actually end up getting it because we were waiting for so long we almost missed the movie and then last time we waited in line for literally like an hour so We'll see if we can even get one. Um, that's that. Should be fine. We left early to yeah, accommodate. We early to accommodate. Our movie's not for an hour, another hour and a half, so we should be good. But that's what's going on. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Universal Studios City. Here's some important information for your visit. Lunch. I got the Mighty Greens, buffalo cauliflower, and some uh, butternut squash with tahini. Hello everyone, I'm home now from my little self-care morning, afternoon. Um, the first Friday of every month, I always go and get my facial at Hay Day, and I go to Erewhon after for lunch, and then sometimes I'll stop somewhere nearby and get a matcha or something, but I just went and stayed at Erewhon today. So I wanted to show you uh, a couple of products I picked up at Hay Day, and also some stuff that was sent to me from Kira Moon, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. Well, they only have two products, but still a skincare brand um they have i did a blog post um reviewing their products a couple months ago and they reached out and wanted to send me some stuff so thank you so much kira moon let me just share that first um got this really cute like metallic pouch can never have enough of these especially for like going to the beach organizing things um yeah really cute um, next, I also got this mirror, which I already actually have this, so I'll probably give this to somebody, but that's very fun. Um, they sent a restock over of the Flower Melon Serum and the Star Jelly Mask. I have both of these already, but I'm sure they'll be out kind of soon because I've been using them for a bit, so really happy to have these. And then just these really fun stickers and this cute little keychain, and they also sent over um, their moon globes, which I'm so excited about because I love any kind of like cold face things. Like I have my gua sha tools that I use. Um, my J roller actually broke kind of a while ago and I've just never got a new one, but I also have an ice roller. Let me see if I can get this open. But, it just says, uh, recharge tired eyes and skin by depuffing, calming redness, and soothing acne. They also create a natural glow we think you'll love, so go ahead, get your chill on. Ready to use after freezing for 30 minutes. Use gentle rolling motions, glide across your eyes. After use, clean with rubbing alcohol. So, and they're like so cute. They are glass, so I'll just need to be careful with them. Um, but they're like so fun. They have uh, like little sparkles in them. So. Thank you so, so much, Kira Moon. I'm very excited specifically about these and just for the restocks of some of my favorite skincare goodies. So speaking of skincare, like I mentioned, I went to Heyday for my facial. I go there every month. I have an awesome esthetician there and I got a couple products. Um, first, I got the Mighty Patch um, patches. They didn't have like the classic ones, but these 
are uh, the micro point patches. Um, I will link also all of these things for you down below if you're interested in shopping them. Um, but these are salicylic acid patches. I've used um, micro dart patches before from Zitstica. They sent me those a while ago, um, but those are specifically for dark spots and these are for active breakouts. So excited to use those. Um, I also got a Indie Lee like acne treatment. Uh, obviously also my skin is like kind of red and inflamed because we did some extractions. I did a peel, we did LED. I almost fell asleep also during the appointment, but this just good for like spot treatments. Um, I've used Indie Lee products in the past, but I don't have any right now. So excited about that. And then I also got this uh, Moon Juice Acid Potion Resurfacing Exfoliator. I had this a really long time ago um, and it worked really well for my skin. They did like a repackage and I haven't used it in a while, but it's just so beautiful. I love the packaging. So I'm very excited about all of these goodies. So I have some emails to answer, some TikToks to edit. Um, so I'm gonna get that stuff done and relax. Bill and I are gonna watch, um, what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Um, we're gonna watch Ted Lasso later and I'm gonna watch some Criminal Minds. I don't know why I'm on like a kick of that right now, but I'm gonna get some work stuff done first and then relax because it is Friday. So I am done with my work week. Hi guys, I have been really bad about vlogging today. Um, my plans for the day just kind of like got derailed of what I wanted to share um, because I was gonna end off the vlog today with doing a taste test of the Beyond Meat chicken um, at Panda Express. I was really excited to try it. And I had like looked yesterday and it said that there was still like that it was, you know, I was able to order it. Um, the locations were not near me. So we were gonna have to like drive a little bit to one. Um, and then it was like, oh, nope, just kidding. Um, they're all sold out. And I was like, what? So I had planned to like show that in the vlog and do like a TikTok taste test and all the things. Couldn't do that. Um, so I got a little frustrated. Um, but it, no biggie. We just ended up going to the grocery store. I got, um, a sandwich at Whole Foods for lunch. It's the Smoky TTLA. It's really, really good, actually. Um, it's tempeh, lettuce, tomato, avocado, um, like a garlic mayo on a toasted ciabatta, and it's like $7 for the sandwich, so it's really good. Um, so if you have a Whole Foods, I don't know if that, they make that sandwich everywhere, but... It's really tasty. Um, so we did that. What else did I do today? I've been, I was working on editing this vlog, um, like cutting together a lot of the footage um, from the past couple days. So I did that this morning. Went and picked up bagels at Hank's, of course. That's how I started this vlog. That's our Saturday morning thing. Um, so I did that and I just started prepping because I don't believe I mentioned this, but I actually rented out a studio tomorrow during the day just for a couple hours to go and shoot um, some content and some YouTube videos. So I'm aiming to shoot two YouTube videos and a couple of TikToks um, and specifically a sponsored one, which is really exciting. So I have been like organizing my stuff, everything I want to bring, um, just like going through all my lists and everything like that to make sure that I'm fully prepared because I'm really excited. I've never done anything like this before, but I think it will be helpful, um, especially because these are videos, like one's gonna go up in an, a few weeks and then the other one will go up a few weeks after that. So I'll have those pre-filmed so then I can focus on like if I wanna do more vlogs, um, what I eat in a week, uh, you know, other things, I can focus on that and uh, it doesn't have because like vlogs are actually really time consuming to go through and edit like I had like an hour and a half of footage just in the past couple days so I was working on cutting through all that today and then you know adding in all of the music the text things and like everything else and then I usually make notes um when I'm editing of anything I mentioned and say like I'll link it below so I know 
to link it um I went through and like any time because a lot of the times I'll insert like if I reference a TikTok or a blog post or something I'll insert like a screen grab or like a screen recording of it on the screen so I make notes of all of the places that I have to go through and do that um and yeah so it, it is a little bit of a process to do but this will make sure I'm not like getting behind on any other videos that I want to make because I'll have like two at least pre-filmed and I'll get a couple TikToks and stuff and take some pictures because the space that we're shooting in is really pretty. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Right now we're just waiting on our crispy rice to come for dinner. It's what we ordered. It's really good. I get the truffle avocado hand rolls, um, either avocado or cucumber rolls, and then edamame. It's very tasty. So excited to eat that for dinner tonight. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I think we, I know that I like ended off on Thursday with not talking about the movie after we saw it because we didn't get home until super late, but it was really good. We really liked it. Um, not like a surprise because it's got really good ratings and stuff. But if you haven't seen it yet, Suicide Squad, it's on HBO Max. You can watch it, I think, for another like 30 days, probably less when this video goes up, but really good. And then yesterday, as you saw, I started off the morning with my facial and going to Erewhon and stuff. So I think I'm going to end off the vlog here so I can just enjoy the rest of the night. Hopefully get this finished um, and I finished finish editing it and yeah that's that and I hope that you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video very soon bye guys